Hey, it's clocky. And what time is it? It's clocky time. And we're back with another video. Oh my God, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's a different video. Okay, I don't know why I say that like every time. Like you, you should know that when you come to this channel, you're never gonna get the same video. It's gonna be something different every day. I like to try new avenues. I have like far too many hobbies and far too many interests. So I just change what I'm interested in every day. I think it's the tism, probably the tism, but we don't have to talk about that. We're instead gonna do a get ready with me video because people have been asking how I do my makeup now for streams because I've changed the way I do my makeup and also I literally have no idea how to do makeup even though I do cosplay and I do plan on doing a tutorial video on how I do my Borderlands cosplay makeup because that's my most fun to do and could definitely help somebody out with that because I've done it quite a bit now. But we're just going to do some of our everyday makeup because uh, I am an everyday kind of girl, you know, because I'm here every day. <sighs> Welcome to makeup and this is what you should do or shouldn't do or don't do. Is my video still recording? That's weird. It was a weird pop up on my screen. Step one, wash your face. I already did that before stream video recording. I did that. And then use your favorite products. For me, we're gonna keep talking about K-Beauty today. I wash my face with Innisfree. I love the Dewy Glow Jam Cleanser, Juju Cherry Blossom. First off, it smells fantastic. And it's so soft and so refreshing on my skin. I just cannot get enough of this. And I'm very picky. Outside of this product, the only other products, which were simple before I found this one, are the only two products that I found that do not make my skin break out. I've tried all the cliche TikTok face washes and they're like, do this, it's the best for your skin. And within a day, all of those made my skin absolutely break out. And if you zoom in and you go, oh my God, but I see your pores and your blemishes. First off, I'm on my period. Shut up, no you don't. It's still better than it's ever been. Uh, this is hormonal acne, you can't do anything about it. And it's still, even for being on my period, using this has been an incredible lifesaver and I absolutely, absolutely adore this. And when I'm done with that, I always switch to my Innisfree Pore Toning Cleanser, Pore Clearing Toner, the Volcanic Clusters. Should we make this thing an ASMR video? Oh, it's coming out. I absolutely love Innisfree products. You're gonna see me just, I'm just gonna go through them all because I want you to know that I absolutely love Innisfree and Innisfree, if you wanna partner with anybody who absolutely adores your product. After I'm done facial cleansing, I use my intensive hydrating serum with green tea seed. I always wanna say green tea salad, don't know why, green tea seed. This is my favorite serum and I love the way it smells. And then my favorite hydrating is the facial clean, clean cream with the Dewy Glow Jelly Cream, which we're gonna start with today. But it just, smell that. Smell it. It just smells so good. So we're gonna start with that because I already washed my face. And you should always moisturize your face before you do your makeup. I literally never do. So, do as I do and not, do as I say and not as I do. And yeah, you're supposed to like move your hair out of your face when you do your makeup too. So I guess we'll do that. I also don't normally do that because I'm lazy. And when I'm getting ready for an event or stream, I'm like, I don't know, hurrying. I guess I'm not hurrying, I'm just lying to you. But look, see, so clean. And if you are like me and you're doing a day where you're not streaming and you want to go outside, you can use your Innisfree Matte Priming UV Shield Sunscreen. I'm not going to put any on my face right now because I'm not going outside, but it smells so good. And I have never had a product or a facial sunscreen that blends so well and then is just so soft. It is not oily at all and it's Spectrum 30 SPF 37. It's so soft, like smells good, super soft. Absolutely adore this product. 
If you saw my other video, <laughs> I bought more and it's free products. I think that's all the ones that I own. These are my new ones. I bought more on Prime Day because I know you couldn't tell, but I am obsessed. So I'm super, super excited to use this green tea amino acid facial cleanser later. I love green tea products. They are the best for my skin and they make everything feel so clean and fresh. I'm super excited for this massive. Is this the same product? I don't know if it is. No, it's not. It's a different serum, but more green tea seed. This is a hydrogelonic acid serum. Super excited for more green tea serums. And then here's the hydrolonic acid toner. If you're asking what order do you use all these in and how do you use them? I have no clue. I just use them when I feel like it. And then the hydrolonic acid cream. Oh, God, I love these products. They just smell so good. Like, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the green tea stuff, but the Dewy Glow Juju Cherry Blossom stuff is my favorite line from them, and it smells so good. So Innisfree, if you are looking for a girl who just has every one of your products and adores them all, I'm here for you. So I like did my facial stuff, and then once you hydrate with your lotion, because your skin is thirsty, my girl, thirsty. Thirsty. You're supposed to put your primer on. Hello? Oh my god, it would help if I didn't shoot my microphone across the room. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, then you're supposed to prime your skin. And then you use whatever primer works best for your skin, whether you have oily skin or sticky skin or pory skin. I have pory skin and my nose is oily. So if I'm having a really, really bad oily day, I use the Power Grip Primer only on my nose and it makes it really sticky and keeps the product there. But unless I'm not doing like a really long wear day, I just do a really simple primer, which is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I used to use a, I don't know if I have any more containers around. Uh, I would have to look it up. It's a product from Ulta called like Sherbert something. It comes in a little pink container and it's a cooling product. I love that product. It's just a little bit expensive, so I don't buy it all the time. But this product is what I switched to after. And I still like the other one. I just don't buy it all the time. This is the softest primer I've ever used in my life. I have quite, I don't want to say large because everybody has a different opinion, but I have pretty it's probably like, I feel like my camera is like smoothing my skin. I have pretty definite pores, especially around my nose. So when I put makeup on, you can kind of see the makeup on top of it. And it just kind of cakes there. I still haven't figured out how to solve that problem completely, but you know, whatever. I'm doing my best. I've, I've never had somebody teach me how to do makeup. I've never understood how to do makeup. I've just practiced and learned. Am I good? <laughs> no. Do I know what I'm talking about? Absolutely not. Are you watching this video anyway? For some reason you are. And you're gonna see all the really great products that I use, mostly Innisfree. Um, once your primer is on, literally I can't get enough of this e.l.f. poreless face primer. It is so soft. To die for. A lot of people use tinted moisturizers in the summer and I could do that. I have a BB cream that I use because I don't really use that much foundation. I have a pretty decent complexion and I'm not the type of person that has a lot of scarring or acne. I'm very privileged in that and I understand that. So I don't use a whole lot of foundation. So you can use just a tinted moisturizer. I still use just a little bit. And the only one I really like is the Wet n Wild. And I use such a tiny amount. And you're probably all gonna be like, wow, she's doing her makeup completely out of order. You're probably right. Like that's it, that's all I use. And I just smear it around with a brush. I like brushes 
better than I like um, sponges. I'll still use the sponge during certain applications, but I really just like using brushes and my very own fingies. But I really don't use a lot of foundation because I don't personally think I need to. And that's okay. Some people need to use more or want to use more and that's fine with them. I just don't like the very flat face look. I still like looking like it's my natural skin, except for around my nose. Cute. So when you're done your foundation, you move on to the next step, which is, um, you know, whatever step you're in the mood to do, honestly. Don't let, don't let beauty gurus tell you exactly what order to do things in. Live your life. Consistency sucks. And rhythm, rhythm, repetitive, doing the same thing over and over again. Every time you do your makeup, it's gonna get real boring. So just switch it up, you know, pick up whatever you wanna pick up. That's definitely not good advice. I then switch to my Rare Beauty uh, concealer. And again, I don't use too much of this because I don't have a lot that I want to conceal. This is in the tone uh, 120C. I don't even know if these are the right colors for me, I'm gonna be honest. And I put it on the places, I kind of use concealer as contouring because I don't really contour too much because I have really nice cheekbones and I have pretty decent face shape. I have no idea what shape my face actually is, but it's decent. Um, so I just put a little bit where my skin is darker and highlight things that I want to highlight. And this is this is how I do my makeup. And you're gonna go, that's not right. And again, you're probably correct. So then we take our brush and we blend it out. And then I will also use a sponge while I do it, but I use a bit of a brush to get the areas I really want shaped, which is the side of my nose, the top of my nose. And yeah, it looks bad, okay? You're right, I don't know what I'm doing. And then we take our brush, or a blender, and we want to keep the product in the spot that we use it, not blending it all over our face, because then we look like a ghost. And just blending it up and out, just to emphasize that my cheekbones are high, and I like them, because I think they're cute. And so we're just emphasizing lower cheekbones, I, to this day, still have not learned how to contour my nose. I probably never will, unless somebody comes over and does my makeup for me and like holds my hand while I do it. I have a weird nose. I have a very, it's like crooked. I can't even like, so it doesn't look the same on either side and it's slightly crooked down the middle and I've got a bump. It's not terrible, but I don't love it. And now we're getting somewhere. Next, I switched to my Hula Benefit Bronzer. That's what this is. In the color, I don't know, I think it's just the one color. If you can tell that I like it, this is the only bronzer that I own. I also have regular Sephora Trio Contour. I don't know how to contour, so. And I uh, put a little bit under my cheekbones bones to uh, emphasize those. And then we put some down the side of my nose. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. I will actually use my Sephora one because I feel embarrassed that you're watching me. Maybe saying, Cloudy, you started the camera on your own. You're right, but you're still watching me. So let me find a brush that I can use. I don't know where my contour brushes are. Does it work? I don't know where they are right now. I just washed my brushes, so these are in a place that they shouldn't be. Also, some of them are still in my cosplay makeup bag. And I am too lazy to unpack them, so. You're gonna get what you get when you get my brushes. I want to learn how to make my nose look skinnier, but I don't know how. And because my nose is oily, it, all the makeup just falls off anyway, so. That's the way that that looks. Let's just put a little bit more of that because I am running out of product on the other item. 
And if you want your forehead to look smaller, then you kind of add some contour bronzer around the top. I have bangs, so it doesn't really matter. I don't put a lot of makeup there. But what I do, do do, <laughs> what I do do, is I do contour my jawline a little bit and I always bring it up. Um, one thing I learned is like, this is good in general if you want to make your jawline look sharper, but especially for a cosplayer or makeup person, if you're doing a photo shoot and you're doing your makeup for that photo shoot and you don't add some sort of contour or shading underneath your jawline after you've put on all these layers of makeup, your face is going to blend into your neck when you're taking a picture and it's going to look very flat. And so if you want your pictures to look more defined, you want to add some shading under your jawline. Now, yes, you do gotta make sure you blend it out or you don't wanna look like a fool with this really weird, harsh line. And then you have a sharper jawline and it looks kind of cute. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I don't look any different, but like I said, I don't really wear heavy makeup. We're just doing my classic makeup for the day. We're also gonna be testing makeup. So like next step is, um, I don't know, we'll do my eyebrows. Like I said, no order. I should be doing more like gel stuff. Can't find one that I like. So I just use genuinely Sephora brand tint volume and brow gel in Auburn. My hair is a unique color of brown, auburn, and blonde, so I have to mix a couple colors to make things right. I also use, well, I use glossier as well, and you'll see that in a little bit, but I start with the Sephora auburn and I brush upwards because I have multicolored hair, but my eyebrows have remained like this light blonde color and they don't really exist if I don't put makeup on. So you brush them upwards in the front and then you just kind of brush sideways and down until you get the shape you want and then like wipe off product that you mess up because you know what life isn't perfect and you're not perfect and doing makeup in one flawless shot is like stupid who does that not me see messed up it's great it's fine it's okay then we brush upward and we brush upward and then we brush outboard. And then you go, oh my gosh, that's like so red on your face. That looks stupid. You're right, because my hair isn't auburn. It's a mix of colors. So then I get my glossier brow flick out, which is probably almost running out of inky winky uh, in the shade of brown. And you just start filling in places that are thin because I have very blonde and very thin eyebrows. And you just add some lines and extra fake hairs in there. And then as you've done it, now you've taken away the red and it looks really red on camera, but just like wait, wait until I put my bangs down and then it'll look better. So then you do the rest of your makeup, which is whatever you feel like doing. This is where things get different. It depends on if I'm doing everyday makeup, I do just a very generic eye, or I'll do some heavier eyeshadow eyeliner and put my fake lashes on. I'm not gonna do the fake lashes today because I don't want to. And I feel like if you're doing an everyday makeup, you should be doing, I don't know. Like some people like wearing eyelashes every day and I used to, but then I got tired and lazy. And then you like let it marinate. Sometimes I spray it, sometimes I don't. It depends on how gross my face looks. And today it looks pory. So we're just gonna put that in. We're gonna pound that into the skin. Just beat your face, beat it up, slap it in, stick that stuff right in there. Get it all nice and in your skin. Oh yeah, in there, get it in. Yeah. <laughs> And so we're going to be doing a little bit different than my normal, normal, normal because I went a little crazy on Prime Day and we know this already. So we're going to be trying out these new products as well. 
that's like my generic, well, hold on. Let me take off any stuff that I got on my lips and um, let me finish my face before we completely change topics here. I use the blush sticks from ColourPop. This is the shade, I don't know, it's been so worn down, I don't even know what shade it is anymore. It's the shade this. And that's that. Now we uh, then blend it in. Because I have such, I'm Irish, I have very pink undertones. Um, I use a little bit more blush than most people, and also because blush is the first product to fall off your face, just as the way that it is, I also blend it into my neck, into that jawline product that we were using, because my skin tone is really pink, so I just kind of blend it in and use blush as more of a contour, so whenever I get some on my blender, I just kind of put it over everything that got contoured already. And then I'll usually end with a little bit of baking powder, especially under my eyes, because that's where it gets the uh, oiliest and on my chin and just smooth out some skin tones. I am not a fan of the wet look that is like trending. I personally like matte makeup over shiny, makeup and I don't ever use highlighter because I don't like the wet look on my face. I don't like the idea of looking sweaty and shiny. I like looking matte and flat. What we are going to do today is so there's four lip products we're going to try. We also have two eye products. The eye products are from Colorgram. It's a K-Beauty product and they are a warm tone stick as well as a glitter bling eyeshadow. So the stick has two ends. One for, you know, shading and the other for highlighting. And this is for my eyes to do the Korean beauty makeup, which I do and I typically use this white. So it's nice to have like a skin tone instead of a white and it might look better. I'm excited to try it. Uh, what I do first though, is since I don't wear a lot of eyeliner anymore, um, because I'm lazy, if I feel like wearing eyeliner, if I wear eyeliner, I do eyelashes as well. If I'm not doing eyelashes, I don't wear eyeliner. And I typically just use my Mandalorian ColourPop palette in these like bottom three Mythosaur, this is the way in Creed shades, and just kind of make my eyes look like I'm wearing eyeliner. Yup, like this. So I pull the corner out and I just kind of drag it out a little bit to give it like a slight wing. I also have hooded eyelids, so I have to pull it across with my eyes open to fulfill that wing. And I do it very subtly because I'm not trying to look like I'm wearing eyeliner. I'm just doing shading around my eye. And you may think this is terrible and that's not how you do makeup. Fine, correct me. Tell me I'm wrong in the comments. I don't care. This is the way I do my makeup right now. It might change tomorrow. I'm a cosplayer. I do different things all the time. Oh, that was so dark. She said, I don't wanna go dark, and then it goes real dark. Do you know it looks like I'm wearing eyeliner without wearing eyeliner? Yeah, we'll darken it too whatever tone I like. And I draw it out under my eye a little bit. Just a little, maybe like a quarter of the way, a third of the way. And then I do the same to my inner eye, pulling it in and just adding a little bit of color here. And it makes my eyes itch every time. So I'm definitely doing something wrong. 
And we just do the corner a little bit. Get more product on the brush and pull to the corner. And that's kind of how I do the shading on my eyes. It's very subtle. It's very stupid. Just kidding. I like it. It makes me feel cute. And then that's when we start going in with the lighter colors and the glitters. But we're going to be doing it with this product today. So I don't know how much of the shading I'm going to use. Ugh. My poreless uh, e.l.f. primer makes my hands so smooth sometimes that I can't pick things up. So that's what it looks like on my skin tone, which I think is perfect. Wow, that is a good color. You can't see what I did because I was just testing the color. But what we're really using is the highlight, which is gonna be that lighter color, which is very subtle, but perfect for what I need, which is under my eye and going in the waterline here and drawing out the inner corner to make my eyes look a little bit wider. This product is going on so smooth. It is like butter. It is so nice. I really like this product. I've never used this before, but I'm really enjoying it. And then I'll put a little bit on the top. Right outside the corner of my eye. To kind of make my eyes look a little bit bigger. That looks so nice. That is, got cat hair in my nose. That is so smooth. That looks so much cleaner than my <laughs> white that I was using. I use this a lot for cosplay makeup, but obviously it's just white, so it's, but that's what I had. And now that I bought this product, that's really great. So we'll do our first curling of our eyelashes. Uh, my eyelashes are very tiny. So normally I would wear fake eyelashes when I do an event, but when I'm streaming, I've learned that I'm becoming okay with my natural, ow, my natural beauty, I guess I should say, and trying to embrace my little eyelashes and be like, yeah, maybe it's not the norm, but maybe I can still be pretty. please 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 I'm so excited for this this is in the shade fairy like oh, I just put it right on my nose it has a little bit of a smell but nothing crazy oh my gosh look how pretty that shine is buy like 15 more of these. Oh my god. Are you joking? That is gore just gorgeous. Oh colorgram, these are so freaking pretty. I need all of the shades of this. This is so subtle. I bought the fairy like one because it's subtle and I like this for my everyday, but like I want all of them now. This is absolutely gorgeous. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. I love this. I'm gonna be using this pretty much every day now. Um, and then you do your eyelashes, since I'm keeping this on for sure, you do your eyelashes. So if you're thinking you want eyelashes to last all day, waterproof mascara is really the way to go. I use L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, but I hate taking off waterproof mascara, so I've just kind of switched to a super generic mascara because I personally haven't noticed any god dang differences between mascaras. This one makes your eyelashes longer, this one makes them look thicker. No, it doesn't. 
All right, sorry for the abri abrupt, like weird cut there. My camera apparently got too hot and stopped working. So hopefully I didn't just lose everything. Like I was saying about mascara, if you're looking for a mascara that's gonna last all day, you probably wanna use a waterproof mascara. I don't like taking waterproof mascara off, so I just use a generic one from Sephora. If you hear a bunch of background blowing now, it's because the fan's on. So my camera's gonna overheat again. Let me try moving this to the other side. I don't know if this is actually gonna help. Yeah, maybe it'll be less direct in the wind. I don't know. I've never noticed a mascara to do anything other than make my eyelashes darker. No, it doesn't make them look longer. No, it doesn't make them look thicker. My eyelashes are thin and useless. So this is this is what I got. This is what I'm working with. I've never noticed anything, any product to change the way my eyelashes look. So I use drugstore mascaras. This one just happens to be from Sephora. Normally I would buy L'Oreal Telescopic just because I like those brushes better, but I happen to be at Sephora the day I needed new mascara. And like I said, I'm not picky because it doesn't really change the way my eyelashes look. It doesn't do anything, no matter what. I've never noticed anything. The only way my eyelashes look better is if I wear fake ones or I edit them on camera. And I'm not doing that for you because I'm real. I'm showing you that I am imperfect and I'm working with what I got. And it's not much, but I'm working with it. So let me finish doing this because I'm gonna get really distracted and stab myself in the eye. I don't focus in on the outer corner of my eye or the inner corner of my eye. I do my whole eye because it's not like I have enough eyelashes to work with to begin with. So I do all of them and I do the bottom ones. Sometimes I will use eyeliner to draw on fake ones as well to make my eyes look a little bit bigger, but I just am not doing that today because I'm worried about my camera cooking itself to death again. So I'm working with what I got, which is itty bitty little eyelashes. But this, the glitter liner or shadow is everything to me right now and I'm looking so cute because I'm obsessed with this glitter so yo colorgram obsessed need them all but speaking of colorgram now we're on to the final part of my makeup which is lippies we have four different lips to do um we're gonna start with the tints no we're gonna start with the Peri peri para, peri para, lip stain because I won't be wearing this one all day, so I'll just take it off. I have a whole thing here to take them all off. But we're gonna try the ink velvet. Per I'm freezing. This fan is blowing directly on me. Lip stain. And I got it in, like I said, ink velvet. Has a bit of a kind of a fruity scent. Oh, that is to die for. This is like my favorite color of lip stains because it's really natural for my face. And I absolutely adore this. I should, oh, I do have tissues. It's like I should do a tissue test. This is such a nice applicator too. It's really small and it's got a nice tip to it. So it kind of makes it easier to shape the product around your mouth the way you want it to. I won't be doing this intense with the lip tints because they're more casual, but I love this color. It's very similar to the other color I use most of the time, which is a Kat Von D from years ago that I bought, but this is really great. It is coming off immediately after application, but I also didn't let it dry yet. It is really moist, so it's making my skin feel really soft. I don't feel it drying quickly, so that could be an issue for if you're trying to do something real quickly, you're touching in the bathroom, you may have a few issues getting that done. Wiping it off, it is kind of staining my hand a little bit, so that could mean that it's gonna stain my lips. I do love this color, and if I let it sit for a little bit longer, I'll let a proper test come through. But 
it is a really good option for when I'm doing more intense makeup. So now we're gonna do the color grams, which I bought three of. I bought a soft heart and daily. So we'll start with the let's start with the soft. I don't know why this is called the soft. This looks more red. Oh, again with the super cute packaging. As far as smell goes, it's really subtle. There is some. Oh, this is a lot more coral than I expected it to be. But I actually kind of like it. It's going on really thin. It is getting all over my teeth. So that's kind of a... Uh... But it is a very liquidy thing. It's not matte like the other ones were. And it's really subtle. So it is coral. It's a bit more of a coral color than a red color. But it is looking really natural. And it feels really fresh. And as far as like wiping it off goes, it's not too bad. Again, it's a tint, but it looks really natural and really cute. So I do like this one quite a bit. I probably, uh, I'll, we only have two more. It's like, I won't do them all. Oh God, it is all over my teeth. I don't normally wipe makeup remover on my lips all that much because I only put one lipstick on the day. So my mouth is like, this is gross. I can't open this box because I'm special and I'm having a hard time. So the next we have 04 and 02. Oh my gosh. Ah, these are the reds. So this is the natural one. It's going to be very similar to my Ink Velvet, I'm sure. So we'll probably skip this one for right now. We'll put it on my skin. Yeah, it's gonna be very similar to the Parapia, but it's more of a tint and less of a stain. Okay, I lied. It's not that similar. <laughs> the stain's a little bit more red, but this is the red stain, and I love a good red lip. Oh. It's, it definitely gets on your teeth compared to the Parapia. So that's not flattering at all. So I'm gonna have to get that off my teeth. Do I look like I'm bleeding? But product wise, it's really smooth and really clean. You look like I just have to brush your teeth afterwards like I'm gonna have to do now. Okay. In good news, it came off my teeth. In bad news, not very well. And it was kind of difficult to get off. Um, so you're just gonna have to be really careful when applying it, but I don't even know where I put it. Oh, it's right here. Really good product, really like it, but I don't like how easily it gets stained on my teeth. I will go back and brush them even more. Yeah, it is just coating my gums and teeth. Uh, we will keep checking this product to see if I still like it. I'm sad that I bought three of them. If it's gonna be this stain -y on my lips and teeth. Oh God, it's already on my teeth again. I love the color. I don't love the uh, staining. I don't wanna use makeup remover on my teeth, but here we are. It just feels weird. But um, otherwise, good color. These products are great and super smooth and they don't taste bad <laughs> for them being in your mouth. And they don't have any strong smells, but um, I had that headband on norm longer than I normally would, so I'm gonna have to redo my hair so that my bangs actually fall flat instead of awkwardly. So it'll work for now to the side, but that is my normal makeup day to day. It's, yeah, it really just stains your teeth, huh? It does not seem to be drying and take that off. It's uh, quite strong. I mean, most reds end up kind of bleeding a little bit that I found, but that's, that's pretty intense for as far as bleeding onto my teeth goes. We'll probably just go back to like the normal coral, but we'll leave it as that for now. Um, but that is 
my makeup tutorial. It's the basic version. Uh, I didn't do any eyeliner, eyeshadow colors. A lot of times I'll add color underneath my eye. I tend to reapply blush pretty often because like I said, it is a product that just kind of blends off your skin and falls off your skin pretty quickly, just the way that it is. And then that is my pretty basic makeup tutorial. My hair is blowing <laughs> because of the fan directly behind the camera. But that's the basics tutorial for that. And um, if you want me to do my more complicated makeup slash see me do my Borderlands makeup, let me know. I will get all of that set up and man, because I had that headband on for so long. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna have to brush my teeth for a while to get this stain off, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Colorgram, it is free. I'm here to be your friend. Mostly it is free. I'll see you in the next video, but for now, I'm clocking out. Bye.